A great thing to do once you've installed Ink Stitch is to install the thread color options. So we're going to go to Ink Stitch, we're going to go Thread Color Management, and then we're going to install Thread Color Palettes for Inkscape. So once you've clicked that, if all you get is this little round, little, little waiting circle, waiting icon, Make sure you don't have something down here waiting to be clicked that didn't come forward. That happens. I'm in a VM. It happens every time I'm in a VM. I'm not sure if it's standard or not, but it's behind, behind here, and it's waiting for you to interact with it. Keep everything on default and hit install. And now we've got done. It does say that you will have to restart Inkscape for it to take effect. Let's see. Down here at the bottom right, you see the little, what they call a hamburger menu. I really dislike that name, but that's what it is. A little hamburger menu. If you click that hamburger menu, here's your thread color palettes. And there is no ink stitch. So we're going to go ahead and restart Inkscape as the instructions implied. Hit Inkscape. Okay, so it's loaded back up. Now if we go to the very bottom right, we click the hamburger menu, we should have, there they are, all of these different ink stitch all of these ink stitch ones are different uh, embroidery machine thread companies or brands. And whichever one you're using the most of, click that one. We use mostly uh, Madeira Polyneon. So I've clicked that. And now this up arrow button right here next to all these colors will give me all of the other color options. I'm going to take this all the way to the bottom. So if you let it scroll all the way to the bottom, now we see this little configure button. We're going to hit that configure button. There you get tile size. You can make the color picker bigger. You've got aspect, which makes it wider. You can stretch to fill, border, if you need a border. And right here's your rows. That's what you want to increase if you want to see all of your rows. And just like that, now we have all of them. All of the Madeira Holy Neon colors are all showing now. So that's a really quick little video and I hope that helps and as always until next time thanks for watching